Hey guys, it's Blockchain Brad, and today I am very honoured to talk to a good friend, Jun Lee from Ontology. Welcome, Jun. It's a pleasure, as always, to have you on the channel. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Brady. I'm glad to be here again. Yeah. And obviously, if you're not sure about Ontology, we're going to find out more. But Jun is the founder. He is an expert in trust. And we're going to be talking a bit about, if you're not sure about what Ontology is, we're going to talk about the what, the hows, really unpack it for those who don't understand. And then we're going to talk about some key features. So, Jun, obviously, Ontology is something quite difficult for people to understand. And many misunderstand it. So let's talk about what it really is in a simple, in simple terms so everyone understands. Okay, the ontology actually is uh, two things. One is uh, infrastructure with uh, public blockchains with new uh, new architecture. It's uh, not a one blockchain, it's public blockchains platform infrastructure. Another thing is uh, a disputed trust ecosystem. Actually, it's, uh, the, the, uh, the simplest thing is uh, one is we private uh, public infrastructure. Uh, another is uh, private uh, common modules and protocols to support uh, dispute trust cooperation. That right. is ontology. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's get real with this because that's a mouthful. If we were in a, in university, that would be interesting for those students. But let's pull it down to the lay person. Why is trust so important for the blockchain? Because you're a trust yeah, network. Yes, actually, the blockchain the value, the key value, or we can say the only value is uh, build trust. If uh, if without uh, this kind of value, the the centralized uh, system will be better than blockchain, definitely, no matter the performance or the other uh, control and uh, the maintenance. So this best on this trust is key things. But right. the trust needed to link to the real world, different trust source and the real world scenarios. That means you still need uh, common modules, protocols, infrastructure, build right. a bridge to link that. Yeah. But John, if we talk about the analogy of gen generation one blockchains, many people say that it's the trustlessness that's the best part. They say that you know if you can circumvent authority, that's the best part. What do you say to those people? Okay, the trust is not uh, the, only the decentralized is cannot cover all the kind of trust source. That means uh, we still use we still can use decentralized or disputed way to link to the different trust source. Maybe some single trust source is kind of centralized trust source, but when you link them together and uh, let all the different trust sources work together, they can build a more big dispute trust ecosystem with uh, some kind of centralized trust source together. Right. That is what, what, how they work for our, the, the link the blockchain with the, the, our real world. Yeah. Right, so John, if we wanted to be clear for the audience, would it be fair to say that you are an interconnector, you're, an in, you're a conduit of trust for all kinds of things like blockchains, protocols, etc.? Are you like a government as, as such, where you help that distribution of trust and data? Uh, yes, of course. The governments also need to private their public service to public. And uh, in, in many cases, they, they need to build a kind of decentralized or distributed trust for all the people, even the, the, the cooperation with other governments or other countries. So in this scenario, a public a trusted public decentralized public blockchain system or platform will be very helpful to provide some kind of public service for government. Right. So that is also kind of scenario. Yeah. So John, do you think in your experience, obviously you are an expert in trust, you are the founder of Ontology, do you think that enterprise would use a blockchain or a series of blockchains or even a network like yours, it, would, do you think they would use it if there wasn't a degree of trust? Yes, actually the because we have uh, on chain uh, already built some uh, many the private or permission of the blockchain solution for enterprise or financial institutions, and then we figure out or they figure out that the the private uh, the blockchain solution is not workable in the long term because it's more like a centralized system. Right. If you want to private the real decentralized dispute uh, service, the public the the blockchain platform still is a good choice for them. Mm -hmm. But they need also their, their own uh, customization requirements for about that. So they will use the public uh, blockchain service and also will, will take their, uh, their specific requirements or customization. That's why the ontology will be the public infrastructure with multiple different blockchains. We will build different blockchains with a special requirement mm -hmm. and link together to become a more large uh, infrastructure for that. Right, and let's talk about demand. 
we have to go there, Jun Lee, with the demand of ontology. It's it, the private sale, the, 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 all the kinds of sales were closed. It was extremely difficult for anyone to even get any ontology, and those who did were very fortunate through an email drop. So we need to talk about that. <clears throat> and the reason is because everyone wants a piece of ontology. So why did you make it so difficult for people to access? Okay, uh, actually two things is ontology is public blockchain, that's fine, it's public project. But uh, uh, unlike the other public blockchain, we need to work together with a real world scenario, uh, more real world scenario. That means we will have uh, lots of partners from the enterprise, from uh, the financial institution, even from governments. That means the, the we, we, we want to do some uh, things and to meet the different uh, uh, regulation requirements, like the China's requirement, regulation requirements or policy. So we are, uh, we consult uh, public sale or private sale. That means ICO. That means we have no those kind of backgrounds. That we can easily to work together with uh, enterprise, uh, financial institution, even government, especially in China and right. uh, maybe grow, maybe globally. That is one thing. Another is uh, we want to put a lot of institutional institutional the partnership with us in, in, in this phase. The institutional not only for the digital assets capital or investors. It's most uh, institutional investor is from a traditional virtual capital or traditional enterprise. They have a lot of portfolio in the traditional the, the industry, different industry. Right. They will build the bridge and the relationship and link the those kind of uh, service from different industry to build their decentralized service on ontology. They will be very helpful for ontology ecosystem. Right. But for community also have a very, very attractive reward plan for the edge of to the community. We will have a 12 percent. We are totally well reward and I drop to the community. That is the biggest reward plan for the public blockchain projects. 12% yeah. 12, 12 does sound very large. I will say that. That sounds very generous. But just to harp back to what you were saying, Jun, what I'm translating from what you said is big business. And I'm hearing institutional investment, institutional money. So ontology is a really big project. It's really ambitious, but it's also backed clearly by a lot of uh, enterprise focus, a lot of enterprise interest from various sources. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Do you know, can you dis disclose to us any of those people, those investors that, you know, from the different sectors? Or is that okay. not disclosable yet? Okay, uh, actually we will, uh, we will announce uh, this kind of partnership soon, maybe in next month. Uh, currently we already have uh, more than 12, the, the top level, the, the, the traditional virtual capital or traditional the, the, wow. the, the la larger enterprise uh, in our partnerships. We will announce in next month and uh, all those is top level, the, the wow. world famous famous player in this field. They will help us to link with lots of portfolio in different industry, help for the ontology ecosystem in next phase. So maybe that's why you look so relaxed now because you've already signed some big deals and you can relax and know that there's, you know, there's, a yeah. lot, there's a bright future ahead, obviously, for ontology. But let's talk about the crowd access, Jun, because obviously at some point you, the, crowd, the, the, the lay public are going to be able to access it as a token through, through yeah. a dual token structure. Is that correct? There are going to be two tokens? Yes, there will be two tokens, and uh, one is uh, ONT, and another is ONG, ontology gas. So ONT is governance gas. They will also also kind of a functional gas. They can do some uh, uh, governance works like the, the, the voting for the uh, parameter setting and all the some kind of mechanism uh, adjustment. Mm -hmm. And ONG is utility gas. The the token they will use the ontology for some. Uh, transaction fee or the uh, smart contract fee and also as a, because they have a more another different scenario on ontology so we will have a more scope for the ONT usage ONG usage wow that sounds very exciting so obviously it's very similar to its structure like neo as an example with its dual token design and one is the fuel one is the governance same model as as ontology but Jun, let's talk about dates when will people be able to interact with this token in a, in a market? Um, I cannot announce right now. Mm -hmm. um, but just ballpark. But we'll, yeah, yeah, we, we, 
will not be be, be will not be longer. Yeah, so I think it's uh, uh, will be soon. But we will announce. Uh, yeah, yeah, we will announce before the we will announce this to that. But, well, that's uh, exciting. That is, Thank you for letting us know that. Let's move across now to very exciting developments with white papers. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit about some of the developments in ontology with some of the research that you've done and, and the information that's being put forward? How, uh, is there uh, more coming with ecosystem research? Uh, yes, uh, we, we have uh, uh, finished the first version of the ecosystem white paper. That means we, we, we have explained how to build an ecosystem ontology. Ontology actually is not only a, a, a public community project, also can link to a lot of real business scenario. That means the, if you are a, a startup or enterprise or the, or the companies or organization, governments, you want to build your decentralized service, you can figure out how to join ontology, how to you use ontology infrastructure to private your service very easily and with a very low cost even for free. So that is attractive uh, uh, things to do that. And right. uh, for the tech, technology part, actually we have to say two things is uh, we have finished the first version of our ontology infrastructure with a decentralized identity and a data exchange protocol. Um, we will we will launch the testnet in this quarter, as just before mentioned. Also, open yeah. the, the the GitHub open source the first version, and uh, for that, and uh, we also for the single blockchain, we also will private uh, private uh, uh, high performance uh, uh, blockchain infrastructure and okay. framework. So that is a, a progress for that. So, generally, if you're going to be using the HPV, the high-performance high blockchain net structures, are you going to be actually working with companies like HPV, which is also designed uh, to be a high-performance? We want to make sure that's uh, clear. Uh, maybe not. HPV used some hardware to, 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 to improve the improvement, like the FPGA or, or G, GPU. Actually, we will use FPGA because we have already do have t testing about uh, GPU or FPGA. FPGA maybe we are more better for the mm -hmm. uh, blockchain part. Uh, but for the cloud service like Amazon or Alibaba or Tencent, all the cloud-based service already have the FPGA the service right now. Mm -hmm. So we already we already built the FPGA team to be to develop uh, FPGA modules for for ontology, and we are deployed to cloud-based service and. Uh, for HPB, we have not confirmed the, okay. the cooperation. But there's clearly so much happening. Again, I'm, I'm really enjoying that you are so relaxed because you've done so many amazing things in the past. It's been a very long and hard road, and now you can reap the benefits of now seeing it unfold and becoming a real uh, force in the blockchain space. Is there anything you want to add to reiterate some of the amazing things that are happening for ontology right now, like the team, like projections in the future? Yeah, uh, we also will will uh, announce the first batch of the team, the, the introduction, and uh, currently we, we already have a, the, already built the largest team in China blockchain project already, and uh, with uh, in, in those uh, several weeks, uh, lots of talents and the, 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 the experts join ontology, and uh, in the in the next phase we will have more people coming. Uh, we welcome the developers joining us to contribute for ontology, not only for ontology infrastructure, also for ontology or different ecosystem the application. Based on that, we will have a, a very good, attractive reward plan for the uh, technical community, and also welcome the partnership, build your own uh, decentralized uh, the service on ontology. Welcome everything, actually. Uh, yes. We yes. Will, uh, yeah, in this year. Yeah. That, that's been my experience also, John, is that you've always been welcoming to all kinds of contributors, even people who are trying to educate and trying to in yeah. explain ontology, which is quite a complex thing. You have been mm. an ambassador for blockchain in China and around the world. You are now becoming a force. No, no debt. I am absolutely certain, absolutely certain that you have put the hard yards in to become a very prominent blockchain for 2018. It's great to see mm. you looking relaxed, finally. I wish you all the yeah. very best. It's great to um, catch up. I hopefully we'll catch up very soon and continue this discussion and watch on ontology unfold in the main net and watch it unfold in the real blockchain exchanges as they become. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Thanks for your time and uh, it's great to see you again. Yeah. <laughs>